please feel free to join my Discord server. Okay, enjoy the video. No reason needed. This is my last ever Lost Wave related video. I personally wanted to take a little break from YouTube. By that I meant over a whole month. I was already writing the script for one of my other videos. And no, it has nothing to do with the 2024 US election. God damn, this country is cooked. But anyways, let's end this Lost Wave journey of mine, as well as the wonderful audience that is all you guys, thanks for the support by the way, with the most mysterious song on the internet. Unlike a shitload of lost songs that happen to get identified in a few weeks, months, or even years or so, this particular song has been known without a title or the name of the artist for over four decades. Well, it's nothing compared to the vast majority of songs in history being completely lost for centuries, so technically, Lost Wave has always been there from the beginning. You can just come up with a very good piece of music in your mind and then completely forget about it the next day. That's technically Lost Wave but you can't ever find it again. So where did the search for the most mysterious song on the internet begin? What even is it? Back in the early 1980s, a guy in West Germany named Darius S. recorded a broadcast of Musik für Junge Leute, a music program on Norddeutscher Rundfunk, which is a public radio station serving Northern Germany, at the time without mecklenburg vorpommern which was a part of East Germany at the time. Geopolitics aside, there was one particular song which captured Darius's attention. It went something like this. The song was a new wave and post-punk song. It's quite amazing to listen to and definitely underrated at the time. The lyrics, however, were kind of bizarre, besides the European accent and strangely deep male voice. The sun will never shine? What is it about? Some apocalypse or something? Jokes aside, the song was featured in a cassette tape. There's a list of songs in the mixtape called BASF4-1, in which all but one included the artist's names. Since the vocals were too hard to understand, the placeholder name of the song was Blind the Wind, although it is popularly known as Like the Wind. The band behind the song was missing. Although the real search for the song's identification began in the 1980s, it didn't make its way to the internet all the way until 2004, when Darius launched Unknown Pleasures, a website dedicated to identifying obscure songs. Later on March 18, 2007, Darius's sister, Lydia, who went by the aliases Blue Lee and Anton, posted the exact song on song searching websites spiritofradio.ca and Best of 80s. It was also posted on YouTube in 2009 and What's That Song in 2011. Unfortunately, the posts garnered little attention, and for over a decade, the mystery remained as it is. Until April 7, 2019, when the snippet finally made its way onto the mainstream, being uploaded onto YouTube by Gabriel Vieira, it was also posted on 44 different subreddits, finally bringing Like the Wind into the spotlight. Three months later, a YouTuber named Justin Wang talked about the whole song. A few days later, the full version happened to be found. Like the Wind became the eventual mascot of Lost Wave. Like Mickey Mouse is to Disney, the Big Mac is to McDonald's, and fucking YMCA is to Donald Trump, Like the Wind is to Lost Wave. The song basically kickstarted what is now Lost Wave. It has its own fucking Wikipedia page. Like the Wind was basically the best thing before EKT hit the scene in 2021. Honestly, it would be fucking crazy if a whole movie was made out of the story of LTW. The song's subreddit would be created in June 2019. Lots of artists were contacted to confirm if they were the ones behind LTW. I can't go through all of them right now as it will just waste tons of time. Lost Wave in general has fucked over my brain at this point and I'm not going to milk that topic just for views. This may seem off topic here, but it's one of the biggest reasons I took a little break from YouTube, while not talking about the biggest things happening on the platforms just lunchly. Basically just three huge YouTubers launching a Lunchables knockoff and promoting it as quote unquote healthy when it's obviously not. Not especially with the moldy cheese, bruh. Yeah, like I like my cheese moldy, bro. <laughs> I was kind of meditating with way better video ideas in my brain which would help me grow my channel and reach a wider audience. All my other personal issues and stuff aside. Anyway, back to LTW. It kind of became the anthem of Lost Wave at this point. 
Two of the kickstarters of The Surge, Darius and Lydia, have to rejoin as they listen to the song being played on the German radio station Radio 1 in August 2019. The song later made international news through several media outlets and magazines, such as Rolling Stones. Despite so much effort and context as well as leads, the song didn't even get solved that quickly, even if the full version was found. But we're sure that it came out no earlier than 1983, as the synth used in the song turned out to be produced by the Yamaha DX7 as discovered in early 2020. In July of the same year, a list of all the songs that were played on the program Musik für Jungleute by Paul Baskerville on NDR was obtained. Unfortunately, Like the Wind was never found. Baskerville was initially thought to have played the song in the 1980s, but was later ruled out. There is an entire spreadsheet showcasing all the LTW leads. Multiple people were contacted, but many of those ended up being ruled out as well. Then came the year 2024. This fucking year has been a roller coaster so far. Multiple YouTubers were exposed as shitty people, my YouTube channel seeing the fastest growth so far, Jutsu Kaisen ending although I'm really far away from it, my country finally ousting its 15 year long dictatorship, Botswana's first ruling party change since its independence, and multiple lost songs being found. It's like feels like a wish left a blessing onto the lost wave community. Tons of long lost songs, such as Sexy Lady, was distributed to Michael Jackson, Everyone Knows That, Stop Making Me Cry, Tension Rising in the Air, Just a Game, Waste My Time, Moi Bouge Da Yushi Al Gone, and many others have been found and identified. Although the full version of Moi Bouge Da Yushi Al Gone is still yet to be found. In my last Lost Way videos, I often made assumptions that Like the Wind would be identified within this year with the amount of lost songs being found at a very fast rate, not even knowing that the very day would somehow arrive before the day of the 2024 US presidential election. November 4, 2024 The entire world is being prepared for the biggest day of the year in the United States, the biggest showdown between Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. Unfortunately or fortunately, depending on whose side you're on, and as I've known from the beginning, Trump won the election. Okay, politics aside, let's talk about the main thing. The final boss of Lost Wave happened to be identified. Drum roll, please. As Subways of Your Mind by Fex, a band supposedly from Kiel, Germany. It all began with this Reddit post right here by MariJN1412, apologies if I pronounce your name incorrectly, who came across an old newspaper article in the Nordfest Zeitung archive in which they happened to find the band Fex. They recognized one of the members of the band, Michael Hedrich, as a member of a Hellfest 83 band called Fret. So they contacted the member who sent some old material from the band. One of the songs that were sent to the user happened to be titled Subways of Your Mind. Hey, that phrase is somewhere in the lyrics. Along came a Vokuru link, and although it's a slightly different version from the one we have heard all these years, the mystery happened to be solved once and for all. The band even went on and confirmed it, including Hedrich himself. Its lead singer, Tul Hukvat, went on an interview with a local Kiel newspaper and went on with the story of the song further. Subways of Your Mind would later go on to be registered at Gemma. No, actually, Gemma. Get it right! Mari JN 1412 also elaborated that Fex is planning a reunion soon. There's also a whole live performance dated 1985. But there are still many people who are quite skeptical, as usual, who argue that the evidence requires further verification. There's a whole audio analysis thread of the song. But alas, the final boss of Lost Wave has finally been beaten. Does this mean it's the end of Lost Wave? Well, of course not. There are still tons of lost songs that are still lurking in the shadows. Maybe it'll be dethroned by the next best thing on the line, such as Your Eyes, which is a fucking banger in my opinion. Several videos about the song have surfaced on YouTube. It's satisfying to see this happen before GTA 6. I promise this is the last time I'm using this joke. As 2024 is coming to an end in a few weeks, I'd like to thank y'all for helping me grow and enjoying my content. For me, this year has been a roller coaster with so many surprises as well as a lot of good and bad stuff going on. But don't worry, this won't be the last video of the year. I'm still thinking of good video ideas to keep this channel going. I've just started and I have ambitions to become a huge YouTuber. 
although I should be focusing more on a more stable job. But anyway, that's all for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys when I have the opportunity to do so. And as always, peace.